most satisfying project I've worked on is a new typeface family for Scandinavian Airlines. Working with a group of designers in Sweden, we developed a new typeface family as part of the corporate branding. The typeface needed to be modern but look sophisticated, and I think it still looks good ten years after we created it, and I still get a little thrill when I see it being used. I don't have a particular favourite. Uh, typefaces are tools and the challenge is to pick the right tool for the job. Um, but having said that, I've always had a soft spot for Centaur. I think it's the way it was drawn by its original creator. It's a little bit eccentric but it's a beautiful typeface. Difficult to use sometimes but it can look really stunning. Creative inspiration is a gradual process. I think working with typefaces on a daily basis, you get to understand and see the strengths and the weaknesses of existing typefaces. And this often sparks the idea of a new design. From that, you draw a few test characters, look at those, redevelop them, redraw them, and gradually a new design will, will come out of that. Well, for the web designer, the, the ability to use any, type, any digital typeface in an interactive way is a major step forward. Often type development has lagged behind the, the movement of technology. Um, if you go back to hot metal and the first casting machines, it was some time before they had a library of typefaces to compete with the earlier type foundries. Um, but gradually the number of typefaces improved, so whenever technology takes a step forward, it takes a little time for type to become available in that technology. Now we're seeing this step forward in web design and it, it'll help designers immensely. I think type will continue to be driven by technology. Typefaces need to work well on screen and more and more reading will be done on screens. The screens themselves, however, are improving on an almost daily basis and I see the time when the difference between printing on paper and reading off of the screen will be almost insignificant. One area where typefaces I think will need to develop is in their language coverage as more and more companies are trading internationally they need to set different languages.